Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, use FME to very, very easily and um, uh, quickly read and write ArcGIS Online data. So I've got these sample LA boundaries here, um, LA meaning local authority, and it's a polygon there. If I look at the data in here, you can see there's a this is a, this is a sample. It's just um, 42 records, um, mainly around the East Midlands sort of area. Um, and um, uh, you can see there's there's Leicester there at the top, uh, but anyway, I've got I've got all this data, and what I'd like to do is just change the name, this this value, um, and hopefully using that as a template as a starting point that clearly shows you how to, you know, change any data you like within FME, or indeed up, up, update the whole lot within FME. So let let's go to it. So that's the value I want to change. So I just move that out of the way. Here I am on FME 2020. So let's create a new workspace. So um, one of the new readers and writers um, recently come out, can't remember when, but it's pretty recently, is for ArcGIS Online. So get a reader. Um, if you don't see ArcGIS Online Agol feature service in there, just go to more formats. And in the search, just type Esri. And you get a whole raft of Esri. Um, uh, readers, or, or good old um, ARC Info coverage down there, I remember those days. Um, and um, But you'll see their feature service for Arches Online. Uh, and there's also a um, portal there for your, for your own sort of organization version. Um, so it's that, if I click on parameters, it's actually going straight into it because I've already um, uh, connected to this before I'm using this 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 reader so what it may it what it will do for you for the first time it will prompt you with the sign in um, ArcGIS Online that standard dialog box that you get in ArcGIS Pro or in or in ArcGIS Online itself in your browser so you will log in with your online account um, your your Ego account and then it'll it'll grab a token and work from there you see on feature service you, you're going to look up so this is my my oh, it's online account, my reader. Um, I'll look into there, I think, and in public, I've got sample LA boundaries. So my, my authority data. So now I'm reading that local authority data. Uh, obviously, it's a reader. There's a few things I can do here. It's not an FME lesson. It's just quick read and write of Aegon. So once I've done that, and I bring in that um, layer, you can confirm what the layer is by clicking on the dots and it will load all the layers available and, there, and there's the one I want. There's the only one in there. And off we go. So I'll bring in the reader. Let's just add an inspector. So you can see. Let's run it. So it's loaded and there you can see um, the uh, all the data including the geometry of course the, the geography and when I click it highlights it um, as expected uh, from the inspector window um, into the table of data so we know that works that's great okay so what I'm going to do in this little demo I'll just get rid of the inspector for the moment I'll get rid of this lot down here um, I just want to do I want to look for Leicester and I want to change the name I want Leicester to be to be sort of something else you know new Leicester name or something so the way we um, uh, sort of do that first, first of all, and well, the way I've done it is I'm, I'm just going to use a tester and I'm going to put the tester transformer in there and look for, I know what field it is. Um, actually, we can just double click on that. Uh, it's in the NM field equals and Leicester. And, and, it, and it comes up with the values there they're in the right value which is really good as samples that's a nice little um, relatively new feature of FME um, so so that's what I'm looking for you see so I call this tester check or, or SMR. so I'm only doing this you could do a whole load of stuff you can mess about with it um, just do what you like in there it's just FME um, so once, once I've done that test and it's passed, I have found a record called Leicester uh, with that field name. Um, I'll just create an attribute. 
and that attribute. I'm going to call it, um, I don't know, call it new name. Um, and um, sorry, that's the transform, isn't it? Um, so um, new attribute. Could have just left that really. I meant to put new attribute as new name in there. Um, and then the, the value I'm going, I'm just going to type it in. So I'm going to go um, new Lester. Okay, just to show it's, it's you know it's clearly changed. So if we just look back in here, you can see quite clearly in the data it just says Lester there. Okay, that's what we're going to change. So it says new Lester. Press OK. So we've got our new attribute. If you look at the output fields. You can see uh, I've got all the other original fields here, um, which came from the reader. And but I've got this new field called new name because that's what I want to use. So let's write it. So I click on writer again. I've I've already done this, so it's gone gone straight into my um, writer. It's listed it there. Uh, if it's not there, go to more formats, type Esri, and you'll see the AGOL feature service. Okay, so just find it from there. And uh, and like I said, you would you would um, uh, you, you, you would possibly you would be uh, have to re authenticate that's the words eventually. Um, so the um, uh, where I'm going to write it to is back into sample elevator boundaries. So I'm, I'm, I'm going straight into that same um, layer and um, press OK and then connect. So I've, I've, I'm just going straight back into there because my writer is going to do an update. OK, so I'm going to update the record. I'm not doing an insert. If I did an insert here, obviously I would end up with a new um, new record that said new Lester or whatever I call it uh, at the bottom of the uh, table, um, you know, as an insert. Um, but no, it's there's delete there as well, um, if that's what you're after, to delete some records. Uh, but I'm just doing an update. That's, that's what I want to do. Um, I then drop down the list. And what am I updating? Well, I'm taking new name and putting it into my name field. So that's the crucial bit. It's not going to happen unless you do that. Um, if you referenced in your writer um, a, a, a service name that didn't exist, then, then it would be created. Um, so that, that, that's how you create a new service. So you can create a new service from here. But anyway, we're, we're just updating it. Let's run. So we should get success here. So total features read, uh, written is one, that's great. And we saw that one go go off there and we can see the one um, uh, Lester that's that's gone um, uh, successfully past the test and 41 that's failed and it's written and let's just go to the data here I'll just refresh it and hopefully there it says new Lester Lester has now changed um, to new Leicester uh, and that's all from this FME workbench so as you can see there's there's a lot you can do here and, and like I said you could you could you know update whole services you could delete um, records you know I did an append and change data uh, the other day doing it in a goal and of course you can do it in Arches Pro and ArcMap 10a and stuff but you can use FME very uh, with a great deal of functionality here and do all sorts in including which is quite powerful as well creating new services so uh, I'll probably do a bit more on this but hopefully that that, that gives you a very quick um, quick view of, of how to get uh, straight into FME and Arches Online thank you very much